Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my programming channel. Today I want to talk to you about React Fiber. What is React Fiber? Why is it important? And why should you care, care guys? So let's talk about it. What is React Fiber? React Fiber is the next version of React. What is React, you might, you might ask? React is a library for creating user interfaces. And it's widely used on, on the web. So if you are a web developer today, you will most probably use Angular or React or some other modern uh, library for creating web pages and creating user interfaces on the web. You will most probably not use vanilla JavaScript and uh, you will most probably not use JavaScript and jQuery only you will use either React or Angular or Ember or some other uh, library for doing user interfaces. And so React is one of those libraries. React Fiber is the next release of React. And you might ask, why is React Fiber important? Why is this new release important? And the reason for that, guys, is because it's a whole new re-implementation of the core React algorithm. It's a new re-implementation, guys. They have basically taken React and they have tried to make it smarter and try to make it more uh, responsive and perform better, to have better, better performance. So what are the benefits? As I just mentioned, the number one benefit of this new re-implementation is performance. And the smartness they have added to the algorithm is that the algorithm will now have different tasks will have different priorities. So different rendering ta tasks will have different priorities. For example, we, ha we will have some tasks that are less important and some tasks that are more important. And those tasks that are more important will be priorit prioritized and rendered before tasks that are less important. So, for example, let, let's take a practical example. On a web page, you might have several rendering tasks. If I click on a link or a button, uh, the button has to change in appearance, uh, and that is a rendering task. Or if I do a network request and I get some data back from, from the network and I want to display that new data, that is also a rendering tasks, task. So which of these two is most important? Uh, well, the UI, the UI uh, uh, responsiveness is a huge priority for a web page. And therefore, when you click on a button, it should change immediately. You, sh you should see that the web page responds immediately to your input, to your user uh, mouse event. And so, therefore, the button uh, UI change is more important compared to the uh, rendering task that is um, uh, that is tr triggered by the network request. And so therefore, in the new version of React, they will render the button before the new data that comes from the network. And that is really the smartness, smartness they have added to the library. So now they prioritize different tasks and render tasks that are more important before tasks that are less important, guys. And that is the real beauty of, of React Fiber. And because it focuses so much on responsiveness and on animations, guys, it, the animations will have so much better performance with React Fiber compared to the current version of React that is called the React Stack. So React Fiber is the next version, React Stack is the current version. And there is actually a, a demo page where they show exactly the same web page uh, running a very complex animation in React Fiber and in React uh, Stack, which is the current version. And you can really see the performance difference between those two versions, guys. And so that is the first benefit of React Fiber, the performance, the responsiveness, the focus on animations. The second benefit is the restructuring of the code. They have re-implemented and they have 
re redesigned the underlying logic of React. And that will help the developers of React, the people who actually develop new features for React. Uh, it will help them to create these new features because the entire code base uh, that is React will have a much better structure. So it will be easier for Facebook to develop new features into React. And um, uh, so it gives them a much cleaner structure. Uh, so that is the second reason, the second benefit uh, of React Fiber Guys. And so if we, if we look into the future and take a more long-term perspective. Why are they doing that? Well, of course, we everyone wants better performance on their web page. However, I think it has a lot to do with VR and with AR, guys. If you watched Facebook Developer Conference last week, and maybe if you've been to their con conference, that, that would be awesome. But you, you, you would understand how much they want VR and AR to happen. And they want VR and AR to happen on Facebook, guys. And so by, by focusing on animations and on responsiveness, they really, really make it easier for future developers to create AR and VR experiences on the web. So Facebook really has an opportunity to make, the, to make React the to-go library if you want to build AR and VR experiences in the future. So that could be a very, very good reason for them to do this whole re-implementation of React. Uh, and who knows, maybe in five or even three years, we will have AR experiences on the web and they will be, uh, and they will be based on React. Who knows? That could be a possibility, guys, because React, the new version of React, is really focusing on animations and responsiveness. Could it be a sign that Facebook really bets on VR and AR on the web? Maybe. But it could also be that everyone wants better responsiveness and, uh, and the performance on their web pages. So it could be as simple as that. However, I think, I think it has to do with VR and AR and Facebook's... Um, and Facebook's direction as a, as a whole, as a whole company. So that is it guys, that was React Fiber. I hope you learned something and guys, if you're a new subscriber, you should definitely subscribe if you are a developer, if you like technology, if you are a programmer, if you like tech industry as a whole, because this channel will be interesting for you guys. I post videos every single day. I'm a software developer myself, and um, yeah, guys, I post videos every single day. So I see you guys tomorrow.